Hello, I hope you guys are all doing great. I'm making this video because I wanted to talk a little bit about the paints I use for my nail art. I've been asked a lot of questions on this subject. And I want to tell you that these paints are not for nails, so you have to make sure to always use a base coat and a top coat. The ones I can recommend that I use are the water-based paints because I've never used the oil-based ones. I don't even know if you can use them for nail art, but I use the water-based um, paints. And basically, I find them in the paint section where the kids, it's kids' paint. And um, like I said, I, I've never had a problem with them being removed with the top coat. I've used, I've tried it with inexpensive top coats, and I've tried it also with the most expensive um, top coats and they don't come off. They stay on pretty good and what I do is I'm going to show you close up the ones that I purchase and uh, where you can find them. One of the ones I use is the Crayola one and this is the box it comes with. All of these come in this box and I believe I paid about seven dollars for this so you could see there just go to your local craft store or, or to the kids paint section when I use these uh, like I said I do have to wear a base coat and very lightly apply your first top coat and I've never had any smearing or smudging when I use this but the Crayola ones comes with white green orange pink yellow purple blue I mean Crayola has all sorts of colors in a variety of tones and so for Crayola this is um, the brand that I buy another brand that I love using is Faber-Castell I purchased these from Barnes and Nobles the bookstore and this particular one comes with all the let me see let me pour them down those colors and I love using these so you have the blue the white the red, the black, and the yellow. So this is the colors that come in the Faber-Castell and I believe I paid for this one no more than $15. Lastly are these little tubes. These are the little tubies that come with the different colors and these are also really fun. They're not my favorite to use but sometimes they have different tones that might be a little bit difficult to find. These I actually purchased them from the dollar store. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the brushes I use for my art. Of course, you can try going for the nail art brushes and tools and those are fine and they're very fun to use and they come in all sorts of different sizes and like I said, all you have to do is look up eBay and a bunch of sellers will pop with the nail art brushes. The kind that I like to use are the ones you purchase from the craft store. The thing with these is that I only use them with my water-based paints. Let me show you the sizes, how tiny, tiny these are. Look at that size. I mean, let me see. Look at that tiny little size. It's just barely even there. And that's why I like using these. I mean, for the, one of my favorite ones, I, I have so many favorite ones, but look at that. Look at how tiny and detailed that is. So these are the ones I like to use. The sizes, I mean, there's so many, you, all you have to do is go to your, um, let me see if I can show you the size for that one. There's the size. The sizes for these, and there's rounds, there's spotters. You have to go yourself and take a look at the sizes they have so you can see what size it is that you need. There's another size right there. But the thing is that you have to go take a look, take a little um, trip to your Michael's craft store or to any local craft store. Go to the art paint section and you're going to find all these amazing tiny detailed brushes that are great for doing tiny detailed designs. I don't believe I've paid over $5 for any one of these brushes. This is the little plate I use to apply my paints. All I do is simply apply a tiny little bit and I'm always being asked why do I use the acrylic paints over the nail polish. I'm going to show you why it's easier sometimes when you're doing a more detailed design. So I'm just using my regular brush and I always have a cup of water next to me. I dip in my brush. And you can see that I have my design here. I'm going to go in and I'm just, let's say I totally mess up. 
I'm just, oh my goodness. Can you imagine if that was nail polish? You'd have to go in and restart the whole thing over again, go into your polish remover, and it would just be a hot mess. All I have to do here is I get my cotton swab. I'm going to dip it in the water, and I'm gonna zoom you in so you could take a closer look. Look at all I have to do is very carefully just go over the entire thing and just remove it. You see how easy that is? But that is why it's so important that you apply your top coat. And that's it. That's as easy as it is to clean out the water-based paint. So that's it for the paint. I hope you guys found this video useful and that you go out and be very creative, not being afraid to um, make mistakes because you can easily remove them with water. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.